Welcome to 5 in 5 where we cover 5 news stories in less than 5 minutes. Let's begin. A rogue rocket expected to collide with the moon on March 4th was wrongly identified as SpaceX Falcon rocket stage and instead is likely from a past Chinese lunar mission, according to NASA. The rocket stage is expected to hit the moon at 7.26am Eastern Time on March 4th. The object's impact with the moon is expected to create a new crater of up to 20 metres in size. Experts still aren't sure what happened to the second stage of the SpaceX rocket. A swimmer has died at a Sydney beach after an encounter with what is suspected to be a great white shark. It is the first fatal shark attack in Sydney since 1963. Witnesses saw the swimmer and the shark at Buchanan Point near Little Bay this afternoon and reported it to police. A NSW ambulance spokesperson said unfortunately this person had suffered catastrophic injuries and there wasn't a lot paramedics could do when we arrived. Seven News reported that partial human remains and half, half a wetsuit were located in the water after the incident. As the attack took place around 4.30pm, there were multiple witnesses and bystanders, some of whom filmed the attack. The last fatal shark attack in Sydney's waters was on Monday 28th of January in 1963. 32-year-old Marcia Hathaway was attacked when at Sydney Harbour Beach's Sugarloaf Bay. The ambulance broke down when attempting to get her to hospital, and by the time the second one arrived, she had stopped breathing. Elon Musk donates around $5.74 billion to charity in November. Just weeks after tweeting that if the UN World Food Programme showed him how $6 billion would solve world hunger, he would sell Tesla's stock right now and do it. It's unclear, however, where Musk will be donating that $5.74 billion. Musk sold 5,044,000 Tesla shares worth that amount and gave them the money to charity between November 19th and November 29th, according to an SEC filing. The recipient is anonymous. This massive donation to an undisclosed charity came just weeks after Executive Director of the World Food Programme, David Beasley, told CNN on October 26th that the world's elite need to step up to end global food insecurity specifically citing Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Beasley said that the $6 billion would help 42 million people that are literally going to die if we don't reach them. It's not complicated, he said. Nearly 3,000 people plan to chuck rotten eggs at Jeff Bezos' super yacht. Here's why. As many as 3,000 locals from Rotterdam in the Netherlands are planning to pelt Jeff Bezos' super yacht with rotten eggs if a historic bridge in the city is dismantled, according to reports. Residents of the Dutch port city were reportedly angered after officials in Rotterdam agreed to dismantle the Koningshaven Bridge, which was built in 1878. Following the decision, the residents of Rotterdam took to Facebook to express their anger over the proposal that a part of the Koningshaven Bridge would be dismantled to make way for the Amazon founder's $500 million super yacht. If the plan is executed, the bridge, which, which locals refer to as De Hef, will temporarily be removed. An invite to an event was circulated on the social media platform by Pablo Sturman. He urged locals to take action by bringing a case of rotten eggs with them. Rotterdam was built from the rubble by Rotterdamers and we don't just take it apart for the phallus symbol of megalomaniac billionaire, Sturman wrote on Facebook. Spider-Man No Way Home surpasses Avatar to becoming third highest earning movie in US. Marvel and Sony Spider-Man No Way Home has become a massive hit. So big in fact that the film has knocked James Cameron's 2009 movie Avatar from the number 3 spot for biggest domestic release ever, according to Variety. No Way Home surpassed Avatar on Monday, earning another $1 million at the box office, with its total haul coming to $760.9 million at the domestic box office since its December release, Avatar stands at $760.5 million. And that is our 5 in 5, we'll see you in the next one.